long journey, nine years. Um, so lots of challenges. Um, you know, we got stuff stolen from us while we were filming. We got a lens get stolen. My, one of my cameras got stolen at one point. Um, let's see what else. You know, it's just it's just a harrowing thing. <laughs> You're just running all around New York City, grabbing shots, getting kicked out of buildings. You know, <laughs> making people have sex on camera is, is always interesting. Um, but you know, it's it's a rush and it's so much fun and I love it. And um, I've made a bunch of movies. This is kind of my first feature. I made a feature project from uh, for college, so that was kind of a warm up to this. But this is obviously amazing. Never had an experience like this, so it's it's really awesome to be here. So tell us about the getting kicked out of buildings part. Well, we were in Bay Ridge. We filmed a lot of the stuff that was supposed to be in Manhattan in Bay Ridge, and I think we were doing pickups with Kyle, and we were in that that dank lobby of Rogers Building, and some guy. <laughs> you know, who like had just come from working out or something was like, what are you guys doing here? We were like, oh yeah, we, uh, you know, we're just filming. And he's like, D did you tell anybody about it? And we we're like, yes, <laughs> we definitely did. Um, but he called the cops and so they came and our AD, I don't remember if he was there, but he usually was able to sort of get us out of stuff, but this time he wasn't. And I was so off my game that I then left a camera propped up against the outside of the building and that, that got jacked. So that was that story. Um, so I saw that uh, this is inspired by true events. Now, considering everything that happened on screen, that's a little scary. So can, can you tell us if, if there's anything we should be worried about? Yeah, so um, the true events part is that when producer uh, Seth Panman first moved to New York City, he uh, worked for a sketchy self-help company that True Healing was based on. And I can't tell you the name of it because we are worried about any retribution that might happen. Uh, but it was very similar. He was filming testimonials of people who had traumatic experiences. And the company was similarly sketchy. They were supposedly helping people, you know, or aspiring to that, but they were actually all about the money. And there wasn't much money, evidently, because they packed up in the middle of the night and they ended up ripping off Seth. You know, he didn't get paid for all his work. So, um, just the last month. Just the last <laughs> month. He got everything else, I guess. <laughs> but he would, you know, he was abused by the boss who Nick Frankenthaler is, uh, you know, modeled after. And then a few months after, uh, you know, they had left, he got a call from somebody who he had actually done a testimonial with. And this individual, um, you know, wanted him to film. Uh, her spreading an STD around New York City. And he was like, no. And, but he told me about it. Um, and we were kind of, and, and he said, you know, this would make a great narrative film. You know, and I was like, yeah. And we kind of developed it for a while. And then he wrote like a treatment for it, which then I used to model the feature script after. So that was the Inspired by True Events. And, and, do you know what happened to her? Where she is now? So yeah, we she's she's out there. No, we don't know. Yeah, we lost track of her. That's that's reassuring. Um, what, tell me about the the medical side of like some of the research you did on spread of disease, on prions, all these all these things that come into the story, and and what did you learn uh, as you were putting all that part of the story together? Yeah, so I did a lot of research on prion diseases. Um, Alzheimer's is thought to be a prion disease. Mad cow is, in fact, a prion disease. Prions are smaller than viruses, um, and they're malformed proteins. And when a protein malforms, it can cause a chain reaction where the other proteins start to malform, and then they choke out uh, brain cells 